Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring you my review of the Season 7 premiere of Shameless on Showtime. This week you've seen, of course, Season 7, Episode 1, which is called Hereth. Um, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, of course, the official premiere isn't until this Sunday, um, of course, with uh, October 2nd. Uh, but Showtime did release uh, the season premiere on YouTube as well as Showtime On Demand and I believe their uh, official website as well. Um, so you guys can go ahead and watch that too and uh, come back to this video. Or you can just wait until the, uh, you know, the premiere airing on Sunday and you know, just come back and watch it then. Um, but of course I just finished uh, season 6 of Shameless so I didn't really have to wait at all. <laughs> Um, but I'm just really happy to be able to review Shameless episode by episode now. Uh, it's just one, one of the most incredible shows out there right now, and uh, definitely one of the best shows I've ever seen, really. Uh, you know, not only when it comes to like its uh, dark humor, but also just its uh, drama and how uh, well-developed uh, most of these characters are. Um, it's just a show I'm really happy to make a bigger part of my channel. And the premiere definitely didn't disappoint, you know, it definitely kicked things off uh, with a consistency of how season six ended, I think, of course, uh, following up with, uh, you know, Frank being dumped into the lake and such, um, or at least into the river. Uh, yeah, so it picked up about, it sounded like pretty close to a month after uh, season six ended, and Frank, he wakes up, finds out he's been in a coma for about 29 days or so. And at first he doesn't remember uh, what happened, he just thinks he uh, sort of uh, got drunk and fell into the water or something. Uh, you know, so it kind of makes her a funny moment when he goes to the alibi, like everything's cool, he's just happy to get a you know, drink at his favorite bar, only to start looking at, uh, you know, Kev, Svetlana, and Veronica, and you know, recognize their faces from when they threw him into the water. <laughs> um, you know, it's a lot of side things, it's a lot of fun, and uh, Frank was uh, wheeling around in a wheelchair for uh, the majority of the episode, so... Uh, you know, of course, with no one helping him, we had to get back to the house and, you know, yeah, do some drastic measures to get up the stairs and such. Uh, but, of course, he did something, uh, you know, kind of troublesome for Fiona, basically getting inside the room, then uh, nailing the door so she can't open it. <laughs> um, and Fiona, meanwhile, uh, you know, she's been, you know, running as a temporary manager at uh, Patsy's Pies, of course. Um, you know, apparently uh, Sean has left. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be seeing the character again. Um, it's kind of a damn shame if we don't, though, because I thought Sean actually turned into a really well-developed character. And, uh, I don't know, I just feel like that shouldn't be the last we see of him, you know. Uh, it was uh, you know, pretty shitty what uh, Frank did at uh, the wedding at the end of Season 6. I don't know, I just feel like they could, you know, work something out eventually or something, uh, you know, Fiona and uh, Sean. Um, but, you know, characters have, uh, you know, came and left on a uh, shameless every season now. Um, you know, so it is what it is, I guess. But I think it, it would be uh, best if we got the character back, though, at some point. Um, just like I would like to see, uh, you know, everyone wants to see Mickey again. I would like uh, Mandy to come back as a regular character. I think uh, she definitely deserves that as a character. Um, but, yeah, speaking of uh, Mandy, you know, it makes me think of the lip. And Lip, meanwhile, um, you know, just uh, got out of rehab, you know, he had uh, been there for 30 days or so, just as he promised, you know, his professor, and I really, really like the professor character, too, you know, I like sort of their uh, dynamic together, um, you know, Lip actually has someone to sort of look up to in a way, I think, or sort of connect with, or sort of uh, parallel in certain ways as well, uh, you know, so Lip gets out of rehab, he seems to do, be doing pretty well so far, you know, he has this, like, uh, set time where he can start drinking and a certain amount after that certain time at night. Uh, you know, he seems to be controlling himself pretty well, but I'm sure we'll probably see him have to slip up again at some point this season. Um, but he seems to be taking, you know, some pride with it, I think, which is good to see. Um, then with Debs, uh, you know, a lot of people just want to get her head uh, back on her shoulders a little more correctly again. Uh, because for the past uh, two seasons or so, she's just made, been making a lot of stereotypical teen mistakes, of course, with the pregnancy and how she is handling that for a little while anyway. Um, but she gets a night nurse, and, uh, you know, the extra sleep seems to do her a little bit of good. She's finally, uh, you know, a complete bitch. <laughs> um, so there's that. Uh, she actually says good morning to Fiona, so that's a change. Um... And with a lip, you know, he's not planning on going back to college. 
um, which is unfortunate, you know, because Liv's, you know, definitely one of the brightest characters on the show, you know, probably the smartest for sure. Uh, you know, to so just to hear that, you know, is, uh, you know, it's too bad. Um, but I still think uh, Lip will somehow get on the upswing, uh, you know, by the end of the series or something, though. Uh, but, you know, he does uh, get a job at Patsy's Pies thanks to Fiona as a dishwasher. You know, he seems to, you know, kind of school the hell out of uh, everyone else working there. Um, but we'll see how uh, seriously he takes it and stuff as it goes. But he just wanted it for uh, some money. Um, meanwhile, the professor is uh, making some calls to see if he can get him, like, an intern job or something at, you know, like, some kind of IT place or something, which is good. Um, then with, uh, you know, Kev, Svetlana, and Veronica, um, you know, Svetlana is becoming actually a pretty, uh, fun character herself, you know, I'm glad she's becoming more of a staple on the show. I do find her, you know, quite fun. Um, and she, you know, seems to be, you know, a wizard pretty much because you know not only is she, does she do wonders in bed with both of them but she's also really good with numbers apparently she can come up with like any answer to like you know like 3000 something times like 46 you know just within like two seconds and so Kevin V uh, they have her start looking into their numbers you know for the business and you know having her organize that type of stuff and you know they, they have a lot to catch up on um, they have a lot they need to make up for you know with the revenue and such um so I like that. Uh, and then meanwhile we have Carl. Um, you know, it seems like his relationship with John is going, uh, you know, fairly well. Uh, but it, she doesn't want to give, you know, she doesn't want to go down on him. She doesn't want to give him a blowjob. So we find out that's because he's uh, uncircumcised. And so he spends some cash he, uh, he uh, stashed away from his previous escapades um, for a rainy day and uh, gets the job done. But... <laughs> Uh, he has to wait a few days before it, you know, while it heals. <laughs> and like I said with uh, Deb, um, you know, she gets this night nurse, but at the same time she stole a stroller from the park. Um, so of course going to some ter stereotypical uh, Gallagher Lowe's to, uh, you know, get what she needs and such. Um, and she gets a stroller, she finds out it's worth quite a bit of money, so she sells it on Craigslist. Um, but it seems to help him out quite a bit, so it works. And then, uh, meanwhile, Ian, he is uh, paranoid of Caleb, of course, his current boyfriend. They're still together. Caleb seemed like a pretty, you know, genuinely good guy. Um, but Ian seemed to be starting to have jealousy issues with him uh, because he was seeing, uh, you know, this old friend of his apparently named Denise. And, of course, with it being a girl, you feel like you shouldn't worry because Caleb's gay, right? And then you find out that Denise is, like, the girl that his family had always wanted him to be with. Um, and then when uh, Ian ends up following him, seemingly just born out of complete paranoia, you know, as Lip uh, follows him just to be a good brother and such, uh, we see that Caleb is actually, you know, making out with her and, you know, touching her and such. So, I guess Caleb's by at the very least, uh, which is unfortunate for Ian. Hopefully, uh, Mickey somehow gets out of prison or something because those two are just awesome together. And, uh, yeah, Mickey would probably kick that Caleb kid's ass at this point. Um, but yeah. So that's mainly what went on in the premiere, you know, just a lot of character dynamics continuing, um, you know, some different things sort of brought a little bit more to the light. Uh, so I feel like it was a really good premiere overall, and I, I can't see it, give, I can't give it any lower than like an 8.8, 8.9, maybe even 9 out of 10, just really fun premiere um, that keeps the ball rolling with the, the way the finale went to season 6. And with Shameless, it's going to be hard for me to rate it like any lower than like an eight and a half, I'm guessing, because just Shameless is just so consistently damn good every week. Um, it's definitely going to be different to have to wait a week to watch each episode, though, instead of uh, benching it as I please. Uh, but yeah, one of my favorite shows, no question about it, one of the absolute best shows, no question about it. And I'm just really happy to uh, be able to talk about it every week now with you guys. So yeah, let me know if there's anything in the premiere that you want me to talk about that I didn't. Feel free to leave a comment below. I'd love to talk about it with you guys. And uh, yeah, so I'll be reviewing next week's episode. Um, it might get a little bit mixed up with uh, you know strain, of course, airing the same night and such. But you know, I'll always get the review out within the next day or so. Um, but yeah, so if you haven't watched the premiere, premiere yet, feel free to go on the Shameless YouTube channel, check it out on demand or the Showtime website, or just wait for the actual airing on Sunday and let me know what you thought. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, like, subscribe, and uh, peace.